uh, Ramos Hotel here. Uh, got a small side project I'm working on for my tombstones. Uh, a couple of my tombstones I need some fake hands for. Uh, I've been uh, doing some looking on uh, the internet at various companies that make skeletal hands, burnt hands, what have you. Uh, I'm finding the real cheap ones, you know, they sell for like 10, 15 bucks. Some of them look, most of them look like they're very cheaply made. <laughs> uh, others, the ones that look really, really nice are really expensive and go can go up to around 50 to 75 bucks a pop, depending on what company you go with. And I figured it might be cheaper if I, I attempted to make my own. And I got to thinking, I haven't done an how, a how-to uh, video since I did the pay monster clay video, the paper clay, clay back in November. So I figured I was going to turn this into a several part how to vlog. Uh, this vlog here is basically going to show you how I am making this. This is basically the skeleton portion of my hand. It's a wireframe hand made out of ba uh, 16 gauge bailing wire. And I wanted to show you the steps in making th in making this. Uh, I'll be doing several more vlogs uh, down the road, showing how I beat the hand out, you know, and get to more of a hand shape. Right now, it's you know a very thin hand. <laughs> it wouldn't work too good. But I wanted to run you through the process of making the wire frame to start with. So. Uh, uh, Sorry for the noise, our dog's having fun playing upstairs. I'm in the basement, so you can hear the pooch running back and forth. <laughs> it's either that or we got some very loud termites in the house. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you the process for making the wire okay. frame. Uh, the equipment that you're going to need to make this is basically a pencil, a sheet of white paper, a yardstick or some sort of ruler, masking tape, a, 16, a coil of 16 gauge uh, baling wire. Uh, you can get this at any hardware shop, probably home, uh, Lowe's or Home Depot, you know, major box store, you know, home, home supply store. Uh, you're going to need a set of nippers used to cut the baling wire, and you'll be using these a lot. And then I'm using a pair of needle nose pliers and flat end pliers or box uh, box pliers okay uh, to, and that's the supplies you're going to need now I uh, do want to give a little bit of warning on the bailing wire itself uh, when you go to cut the pieces and stuff the ends can be rather sharp so you're going to need to be real careful about cutting yourself or scratching things and stuff with it as you're manipulating the wire on the project also, uh, the company that makes the baling wire uh, to help protect it to keep it from rusting, uh, they coat it with a, a very thin uh, sheen of oil. So as you're handling this stuff, your hands, as you can see on mine, I don't, I don't know if you can see them very well, turn black. And that's just from the oil on the outside of the wires. If, it bo if getting this stuff on your hands and the sharp edges bother you, uh, wear gloves. Uh, and as you're cutting the wire, uh, probably wouldn't hurt to wear some eyeglasses or something like that. It's not a real big deal on the eyeglasses, but you know, it's up to you on safety. Uh, when you're done handling the wire and everything, make sure to wash your hands real good to get that oil and stuff that you're going to be picking up from the wire off your hands. So that's the start of it. Now, let's get you on to the first stages of actually getting this stuff out of the way. The first thing that you want to do is you need a template for uh, making your wire hand. So what, what, I, what I ended up using originally was just my hand. And I think a lot of us can remember back in grade school how they used to have us just trace our hands and do different art projects. Okay, so that's basically what I do. And I start down here on my hand, right at the top of the wrist, with the pencil. Hold it against your hand, 
and just relax your fingers out in the paper. You know, you don't need to have them splayed real far apart. In fact, it's a good idea not to have them splayed real far apart. And just simply trace your hand. It takes a couple of seconds just to kind of run the pencil around. Okay. And I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that on the paper, but that's the, you know, that's my hand. After you've gone through and gotten your hand traced out, you need to go through and clean up your tracing a bit. So you have some nice straight lines to use as a template for while you're making your hand. Okay. And that's basically what I've done. That's what my template looks like. I simply just went through with the ruler and did all the straight lines and stuff on it. Now the template here, uh, your hand itself consists of six different pieces of wiring. You need one piece for each of the fingers, a piece for the thumb, and then this framework here for the palm. That's number six. Okay, now to help speed up your project in making these, I suggest ahead of time cutting your wire. You know, get all your pieces and stuff a cut ahead of time. So you have them all after ready. you've gone through and gotten your hand traced out, you need to go through and clean up your tracing a bit. So you have some nice straight lines to use as a template for while you're making your hand. Okay? And that's basically what I've done. That's what my template looks like. I simply just went through with the ruler and did all the straight lines and stuff on it. Now the template here, uh, your hand itself consists of six different pieces of wiring. You need one piece for each of the fingers, a piece for the thumb, and then this framework here for the palm. That's number six. Okay, now to help speed up your project in making these, I suggest ahead of time cutting your wire. You know, get all your pieces and stuff a cut ahead of time, so you have them all ready to go. And that step doesn't really take too long. This is where your yardstick comes in. Just simply lay that down on the table. And you'll need to make the hand, you'll need five, uh, six pieces of wire. Five of them at 24 inches. And the sixth one I do at 26 inches. Uh, that's actually more wire than you're going to actually end up needing and if you end up using your own hand uh, as, as a tracing, you have a smaller hand, my mitts are pretty big, uh, you know, you'll probably need a little bit less. Uh, but you don't want the pieces of wire too long because that makes it hard to work with. But having some excess wire does come in handy just in case of uh, mistakes. So basically, you just lay the wire out next to your ruler and measure down to 24 inches. And then take your nippers and give it a cut. There's your, there's the first piece. Now all you do is just sit there and repeat that. I need uh, four more at that length, at uh, a 24 inch or 24 inch length, and I need one more at 26. So it's just basically sitting here snipping wire. There's my five pieces at 24 inch long. Now I need to do one at 26 inch long. The uh, 26 piece long, and I'm sorry I'm not flipping you guys off, but it's for the middle finger on your hand. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's your longest finger on your on, on on your on your hand, and to go basically from the base of your hand here, clear up and around and what have you, and I like to have about two inches or so extra wire every time I'm done wrapping. For me on my hands, it's about 26 inches. So, that's why I say cut one at 26 inches. You'll need more wire for that than you will for any other part of doing the hand. Anyway, there are your pieces. Five pieces at 24 inches and one piece at 26 inches. Now it's on to the next go. Step. The piece is cut out. Got a nice little bundle here. Got my template, which is what this is. Now to start on the hand, take one of the wires that's 24 inches long. And basically, like I said, this paper here is a template. 
uh, you, you can use it to lay out, make sure you get your shapes and stuff the way you want them. I always start at the bottom of the hand. Take your pliers. And I place it like that and then just simply bend your wire. Try to do tight corners on them. Okay, you don't want, you know, a big sloppy loopy corner. You want tight corners on them. And simply just go around your template and make sure you follow your template. Right now I'm doing the palm. You know, this, por this portion of the hand. And I'm just going to sit there and just kind of keep bending the wire around till you make it all the way around the palm. Okay, after you get to this stage, there's a couple things that you need to do. One, take your nippers and cut off the excess flush with the side of the uh, frame here. Boom. So now you should have a piece that looks like that. That's the palm of your hand. Now, I'm going to lay this against my pattern and I'm going to double check and make sure all my bends I made match up with my pattern, which it does. And the frame's a little tweak, but we can straighten that out here in a sec. Now, for this, you take a piece of a nice long strip of uh, masking tape here. Find the end of it. That's always the fun part, finding the ends on these things. Ah, there it is. Okay, I'm taking off a piece of masking tape about oh, seven, eight inches long. And this is a, kind of a tricky part. You don't want the masking tape sticking to your pattern and ripping it. Okay, once you get your wire frame for your palm to uh, match up with your pattern, hold it together on the ends here and put uh, the masking tape on it and just simply wrap the whole section where the two ends of the wire meet with the masking tape. This will help hold it into place. And just basically sit in here and just wrap it around. And then when you get down to the end just simply tear off your excess. Now you have your palm all done. And you can take it, lay it on your pattern, and double check, make sure all your bends and stuff match up with the pattern. Which it does. Okay, now it's time to start on the fingers. And I'm going to start with the pink, pinky finger first. You can start with any finger you want, but I find, find I prefer the peaky finger. Okay. Now what I'm going to do with the pinky finger here, um, for the wire for it, I'm going to line it up with the palm, uh, side of the palm here. I'm going to leave about an inch to two inches of extra wire hanging below the palm. You want to make sure you leave excess down there. And then just a matter of taking this end and bending it. I got a bend there started. 
Okay, so I've got a bend in the wire. And basically, you're wrapping the wire around the palm. And this can be a little tricky. That's why you use the pliers and stuff. You know, I've got fairly strong fingers, so I can get the majority of this wrapped with uh, my fingers. Now, I've got it looped around the wire frame there. I don't know if you can see it very well in the thing. But it's a real loose wrap and this is where I'm going to use the pliers anyway after down. you get the base into the wire curly cued around the base of the palm and you tighten it up make sure you tighten it up you don't like I said you don't want a real loop uh, sloppy loop there so then we go up to the top end take your wire here you can see it and go up to the top end and you're going to do the same thing again, just loop it around. Except this time you've got all this extra slop with the wire. And again, use your pliers to pull it tight. And be careful when you're doing this, you don't poke yourself in the eye because that wire is going to be kind of turning around. And it's it takes a little bit of messing around to get this to tighten the way you want. And it takes a little bit of practice. And this is only the second hand I've done, so it's taking a little bit of a while. Okay, now I've got my base on the wire and I got one side of the finger. This is where your template comes in handy again. Lay your wire again over your template and you can measure up on the wire for the finger to where you where the pinky Okay. There we go. There's basically the start of my pinky. Now, when you go to do the other side of your finger, the one thing I watch for is I like I like to have everything kind of uniform so it looks the same way. So you want to make sure you want to wrap your wire around the frame for the palm in the same direction as you, you start it with. And I try to do all the fingers the same way. Okay, you got, so far you've gotten that on your finger. You've gone up the side, looped it around, and stopped right here. You still got a lot of wire left though. And to finish it off, you do just what you did with the start. You loop it off down here. So, just simply take your wire and loop it around. Now this does, it does several things doing this, attaching it at the top and the bottom. One, it helps to firm up the palm a bit so it doesn't bend around as much. It will also offer you some backing to put your uh, filler and stuff in as well for it. With the palm being so big, any filler you put in there just want to fall right out because there's nothing for it to cling to. Once you finish your wrap, take your nippers and cut the wire off so it's the same length as the one, the uh, starting one. Real easy. Or close enough, but anyway, you end up with that. And I'll show you what to do with the ends here once the whole hand's done. Okay, now take your hand that you got going with the pinky so far 
and place it on your template. You want to make sure that the uh, wire for the finger lines up with the lines on the template. Okay. You also want to try to keep the wiring as straight as possible. You don't want a lot of curves and bumps into it. This appears to line up. Now I've got one other step I need to do with that pinky. And it's going to be the same thing as I did down here on the base. I'm going to wrap the side of the palm where the two wires run side by side here in masking tape. Now you will do that over the whole hand. Wherever the finger wires meet down here in the palm, wrap it in uh, masking tape. So that's my next step and then that finger will be done. Okay, there you go. We got the palm made and we got the pinky finger on. Now we got to do the other three fingers and the thumb. And we'll be doing a little bit more of that here. Okay, after you've gotten your first finger done, it's time to start on the next one. And you just follow the same procedure as you did with the first one. And one thing I try to do is when I'm wrapping the fingers, I try to wrap the wire all the same way. You know, uh, it makes it keeps it a smoother look to it. Okay, and we've pretty much got it started, just like we did the other one. And it's just a matter of repeating what you've already done. Okay, so we've got the second one started. And you see, I got, I'm ready to form the finger. You just do the same thing like you did with the pinky. Lay the whole thing down on your pattern. And then just follow the pattern, you know, for, to get your bends. And I just keep, at this stage, laying it down on the pattern. Because I want the hands to mirror my pattern as much as possible. Okay, we got the finger form. Now we just got to do the bottom side, and that's the same as doing the pinky. Okay, we got the finger attached. Now you need to cut off the slop here at the bottom. And make sure you leave about two inches of extra on the bottom, and that will come apparent a little bit later. Okay, take off like you did with on the pinky here with the masking tape. Cut, break off another six to eight inch piece of tape and do the same thing here where the two wires meet between the pinky and the next finger and wrap those, that with uh, masking tape. Okay, and when you get down to the end, if you have any excess tape, just kind of tear it off and discard it. Okay. Now that's the basic pattern to do, basically do the hand. There's two fingers done. Now the only difference with the next finger is instead of using the 24 inch pieces of wire you cut, use the 26 inch piece for the middle, the middle finger here. Basically because of the size and the length of the finger and everything, you need the extra wire. And you just repeat the process until you get all the way okay. across. Once you're done with the fingers, you should have something that looks pretty much like that. Hand's not done yet. It's missing one digit. It's got to have a thumb coming out the side here. And that's a little bit more difficult to do than the fingers due to the fact that it has to come off at an angle. Uh, basically the principle's about the same. Simply though, uh, start it out like you would any other uh, except down here on the bottom where this finger joins, instead of mounting it on the outside like you did on all the others, mount it on the inside. Okay, once you get the bottom done, lay it down on your template like you did with all the others. 
and just run the wire around your template to get the uh, shape. Now you got the shape of your thumb. You gotta get it wrapped. And instead of just wrapping it around the single wire, wrap it around both wires from the uh, palm to that finger and just wrap it around like you do all the others. Yeah, the thumb is not an easy piece to do because you're working at an angle on it, so it's probably the hardest piece to do. And I've already made two other hands, and with each one, I've had problems getting the thumb the right shape. The wire ends up getting all bent all the hell, and like I'm doing now, I have to sit here and getting the wire straightened. There's the thumb. All finished and done. Okay, now that you got the thumb basically in place, Go ahead and on this last section up here, cut off the majority of your excess. Leave about an inch of wire. And what you want to do is take it, take this wire here and wrap it down in between, uh, in, on the uh, side of the palm. Okay, after you get that part of the thumb wrap, Lay the hand back down on your pattern and straighten out the wire. The wire is going to be a little kinked and you want the wire as straight as possible. There we go. That's what we ended up with. That's the hand. Now we've got to deal with this mess down here. What you basically want to do on this section here is on these two sections of wire you want to leave those pretty much as is all these others though you wrap along the base of the hand and then trim them off as you need to it helps to kind of lock them into place and then as you wrap it like i just did this one here there's a little bit of it left there to simply trim that little bit of excess left off and then move over to the next one. And don't worry, you can, when you're wrapping this, you can go over others and what have you. It's not going to hurt anything. If anything, it'll help beefing up the base a little bit. And do the same thing, wrap it around a couple of times and then trim off the excess. I got the ends all wrapped. I left these two, or actually there's four wires there, from the fingers there. Anyway, I left these wires off. These are your mounting wires. Whatever you're going to mount them to, you know, you can put a loop in them for a screw to attach it to the hand or. Uh, if you're going to attach a PVC uh, pipe, you can put a pipe cap on, draw a couple holes, shove it through and bend them over. Anyway, that's for your mounting. So you want to leave, leave those wires there. The only other thing to finish this wire frame up is you need to take some masking tape and right where the thumb joins the palm of the hand, wrap that masking tape, which is my next step right now. And it's a little hard to get this tape around the uh, wire on the thumb because the thumb's going off at an angle. It's not a straight up down proposition here. Anyway, by the time you get that done, your hand's going to be a little tweaked. You know, it's going to have a little bow or curve. Some of the wires are going to be bent out of shape. You can go through at this point and kind of straighten it out. But basically, once you're done, you should end up with something like that. And you'll put a piece of paper behind it so you can see it better. You got your mounting wires down here that you left on. All your joints should be 
taped. And then you've got your thumb and four fingers. And there you go. That's how you assemble the wire part of the hand.